Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of BachelorVegas.com, and I'm standing here tonight in front of a Jewel nightclub here. You can kind of see there's a little Jewel action going on right there. And uh, this is definitely one of the uh, newer clubs in Las Vegas. I think uh, we're putting on the five or six year mark here, but it's definitely a very nice rebuild. It used to be the old uh, Hayes nightclub. You might remember it from the movie Old Vegas. And they, uh, that, what was his name? Um, Morgan Freeman was drinking uh, alcohol in here with uh, Red Bull and vodka. And he was talking about, I feel like I'm getting wasted and electrocuted at the same time. So that's, uh, that's the old Hayes nightclub, which is now the Jewel nightclub. And uh, it's owned now by the uh, Tau Group, which is the MSG, the Madison Square Garden group. Uh, they bought the Hakkasan group uh, in 2021 and now they operate this club uh, and it's uh, definitely still one of the nicer newer clubs in Las Vegas. It's a beautiful club with the LEDs. Um, it's got an awesome you know, setup with the DJ in the middle and then plenty of bottle service, big dance floor, uh, bars upstairs and downstairs, uh, some cool VIP rooms upstairs and whatnot. So you probably landed on this video today because you might be interested in Jewel Nightclub. You're coming to Las Vegas, might want to do some bottle service, and you want to find out if this club is for you and uh, if it's a you know, perfect, uh, perfect fit for you and your group. All right, so I'm going to tell you today about the different options, talk to you a little bit about Jewel. Uh, I'll show the, the sections as I talk about them here so you can understand uh, all the different options here at Jewel Nightclub. And uh, one thing about this place, I will give it that, it, it is a smaller nightclub compared to like your Omnias, your Excesses, your Zooks, or your Hakkasan, uh, but it's just as nice. As far as the LEDs, the sound system, everything, it's, it's, it's up there. This club, if you were to put it in any city in the United States, would be the ultimate club. It would be the best club in the city by a country mile. But you're competing with Omnia and Hakkasan and Zoo and Access and even Marquee. And, you know, th those clubs are, you know, comparable and even bigger and better in some cases. So it is kind of like the uh, the odd man out when it comes to the clubs. They do bring in some talent, like uh, sometimes Steve Aoki. Um, you'll even maybe see an occasional booking by, like, Cascade or something here. But for the most part, they're pretty much just going with open format DJs are kind of, um, you know, using the hotel, this big Aria hotel here that come down the stairs here, you can see we're at the Aria, and uh, the Aria's upstairs there, this is the North Ballet, and uh, basically, you know, they kind of just go with what the hotel brings, and uh, they have a couple promotion companies that help with the guest list and whatnot, and uh, they do a pretty good job of filling it up here Fridays and Saturdays, and then their Monday industry party is really solid, they have a really good industry party, in fact, this last Monday I was in here, I had the uh, owner's table with the customer, and it was lit, they had DJ Pauly D, and it was actually a really good party, every single table was sold, it was packed, so solid, solid Monday industry party here. All right, so let's talk about the, uh, the security and everything and the dress code. Uh, when you come down the stairs here, there's going to be a guest list and tickets on the left-hand side. The bottle service and stuff will be on your right-hand side. Um, actually, if you're coming down the stairs, it'll be guest list of tickets on the right, the tables on the left. You'll see signs. It's pretty easy to figure it out. Uh, security does do a wand check. Um, I think the towel group venues are now going to like this, this standard pole thing. you got to walk by to see if you got any weapons or anything. They hold your phone in one hand, and if it turns uh, green, you're good to go, and if you're red, they're, they're going to wand you a little bit harder. Um, so I think that's the direction every every club that is run by this group is going to be going here. And then, um, you know, they don't really check your pockets and stuff like they used to. Uh, used to be pretty strict with that. But they're looking more just for weapons these days. So just make sure you don't bring anything that's going to get you in trouble. Um, I, you know, definitely not advise to bring anything illegal either because uh, for some reason they look in your pockets and there's some in there. Uh, they will 86 you from the property, uh, which means they're going to kick you out for good and you can't come back to any of the MGM properties. Um, so that's definitely one thing you want to worry, worry about. Now, as far as like the dress code here, guys, this is an upscale nightclub. You want to wear um, nice clothes. You got to wear like a collared shirt, a button down shirt, a uh, nice v neck is fine. Uh, no baggy clothes, no athletic gear. Uh, you don't want to have anything uh, pants. You, want, you don't want any ripped jeans. You don't want any baggy pants, nothing like that. Dress pants, nice jeans are fine. Um, as far as shoes go, no work boots, no Jordans. Uh, you can get away with like the Yeezys or the Vans, uh, but dress shoes are definitely the way to go, guys. Nice dress shoes or a pair of nice, like really high end, like Yeezys or Vans or something. We'll usually let that fly here. Now let's talk about the uh, tables and the bottle service and uh, the different options here. Uh, there's definitely some cool, the tables are definitely really cool here. This club is designed for bottle service and there's some really good options. So when you, if you're looking into the club, when you walk in, there's gonna be the DJ booth in the center. To the right and the left, there's some DJ tables, DJ booth tables, if you will, stage tables are called as well. And uh, those are big tables, um, you, you're elevated, you got a nice overlook of the crowd, those are pretty dope. So those are definitely one of your options. Um, around the, the dance floor, there's actually uh, several dance floor tables. Um, 
they're pretty much all about the same size. A couple are a little bit bigger than the rest, but uh, they're all pretty good for maybe 10 to 15 people, um, and they're really good prime locations for the dance floors. Now, right behind the dance floors is going to be your second tier tables, and then right behind the middle, centered middle dance floor table is the owner's table. Okay, that's like your second tier table. It's a giant table. That's the one I had. You can fit like 25 people at it. Um, I believe it's table 24. So you have your dance floor, and then you have your upper dance floor tables around that, your second tier tables, if you will. And then behind that, there's going to be your third tier tables. Okay, those are going to be a little less expensive. Um, you're a little further back. And then right behind the third tier tables, there's actually another row of tables called the fourth tier tables. So, um, you know, the less, the more money you spend, the closer you get to the dance floor and the DJ. Okay, the dance floor tables are the most expensive. Second tier, third tier, fourth tier, it goes down from there. All right, so that's going to be your main floor. Uh, there's just, you know, four tiers of tables. And then if you, um, you know, can't afford the main floor, then the option is to get a table uh, potentially upstairs on the mezzanine level. There are some front row mezzanines, and then there's some just back row mezzanines, okay? And the back row mezzanines are typically like a one bottle type minimum, and then the front row are maybe like a thousand dollar minimum uh, for a mezzanine table. There's also uh, five really cool uh, VIP suites upstairs, and they're big. They hold like 20, 25 people. They're different themes. I know one's called like the GOAT. It's like a sport theme. I think there's another one that's kind of like a rock and roll type theme. Um, I'll flash some pictures up here of the, of the different uh, suites or whatnot, but they're really cool. Their themes, there's, there's kind of one that they keep kind of secret, if you will, and you, you want to rent that one out. It's it's kind of like under underground. You got to keep, you know, no, no cameras, no pictures. They don't really want anybody to take pictures of that particular suite. So there's five VIP suites that you can get for your group, but they're on the mezzanine level overlooking the club from upstairs. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, they're not going to be quite as much in the action. If you got like a self-contained group of, say, 15 or 20 or 30 people even, uh, one of those skyboxes could be perfect for you guys. So. So upstairs, uh, there's also some tables all along the mezzanine um, in front of the bar. Okay, so there's a bar upstairs, and then there's a row of tables overlooking the club from the center as well. Uh, those are pretty good mezzanine, more like your center prime mezzanine tables. Okay. So those are your, basically your table options. Like I said, Jewel's not a humongous club, but there is two levels, and it is a very well-done club in terms of bottle service. Uh, there's a bar upstairs that, that's not quite as busy as the bar downstairs. If you know, It's a pretty capacity night. Both levels are going to be pretty rocking. Um, the facilities are pretty good here as far as the you know, washrooms and whatnot. It's easy to go to the washroom, and I never really have to wait or anything like that. So they got that down to a science. But again, the club is definitely a beautiful club, and it would, this club would be the best club in any city in, the, in America, except in Vegas, where there's even bigger, better clubs. So that's the only problem that Jewel has over here. So uh, make sure you like this video if you like the blog, uh, subscribe to this channel, and uh, if you have any questions, I'm going to flash my cell phone up here. It's 773-459-8133, uh, and uh, I'll be happy to get on a call with you and talk to you about Jewel, see if it's a club for you and your, uh, your group. It's actually a pretty darn good value club. You can get a pretty nice table here for you know a couple thousand dollar minimum. Maybe even a 3K minimum will get you in like a dance floor table, which is fantastic. Where you know, some of the other clubs, the dance floor table could be 10 to 12K. So um, definitely a value type of club here. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. There'll be a link below if you want to go over and check out the website and see the 3D map and um, any more uh, information on the club. I have a nice write-up on it as well. And I look forward to working with you in Las Vegas. I'm Brian Pfeiffer. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.